Well, I grew up around uh, airplanes, obviously. I had a crib in my mother's office at the museum in Chino, and uh, so it was something I was around all the time. Um, I can't remember my first fight exactly, but my dad used to have a Cessna 210, and I'd sit up front with him, and I couldn't see over the instrument panel, but you know, he'd say, turn left, turn right, go straight, and uh, so I used to fly with him a lot in that, uh, and uh, go in the B-25. Um, so I, I had a lot of flying experiences when I was young, but I can't necessarily remember one particular one. And the racing thing, uh, I went to quite a bit when I was younger. Uh, my dad was racing Tsunami around the time I was born for a few years. And the museum campaign, that uh, Super Corsair, uh, through 90, 1994. So I was around the races quite a bit when I was younger. Uh, but I didn't really get bit by the racing bug, I suppose, until I was in uh, about high school. Um, I'd gone through my parents' attic and found a bunch of my dad's uh, air race memorabilia, you might call it. You know, a bunch of pictures of the Red Baron and uh, the Super Corsair and Tsunami. And I plastered my walls with, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I met Tiger uh, in 2003 at the air races. And uh, that particular year, actually the year before, in 2002, I remember <coughs> I was helping my dad out on the pace jet. And uh, we were doing the gold lineup. And we walked down, uh, you know, saying good luck to each of the race pilots. And Strega was down there at the, at the end of the line. And that airplane, there's you know, something about this airplane behind me, just the way it looks, uh, it looks fast. It's the best looking one out there in my opinion. So it, it just caught my attention. And uh, I met Tiger the following year and asked if I could come up and you know, take a look at the airplane. And at that point, he was, uh, uh, he turned me over to LD and uh, started talking and conversing with LD. And I was just kind of bit, the more I was around it, the more I was hooked and wanted to know about it. I really started learning more when I started working on Strega. Uh, at the museum, you know, there's a, a totem pole, and then usually I was walking around with a cardboard box picking up loose hardware on the ground. Uh, when I came up here uh, with Strega, uh, we, we, have, we had a small crew, we still have a small crew, so everyone kind of carries their own weight. And uh, after the first year where uh, LD was, um, where I, when I was working around him, he kind of taught me, or taught me a lot. And uh, the more I was around him with the airplane, uh, the more I learned basic Mustang and things like uh, rigging a landing gear or hydraulic systems. And then we went deeper into the race components and you know what makes it tick. So I did attribute more of my uh, mechanical mind as far as this airplane goes to working around uh, LD. He's he's been around the airplane for over 25 years and he knows it inside and out. So he's kind of brought me up along with it. The first time I started coming up here to Bakersfield, I was flying a, a Lescom, and I just got my pilot's license a couple months earlier. And uh, I think I'd been around, I was working up here for about five or six years before I actually started flying a stock P-51. Uh, so before I got into Strager, I had about 50 hours of Mustang time.